Land, not money, was the victory today for the Tahoe Indians, who finally won a 64-year battle with the federal government. President Nixon invited a small group of chiefs to the bill signing ceremony, where the Tahoes officially regained title to their sacred Blue Lakes lands in New Mexico. The president called it a new direction for Indian affairs. My name is Bobby Green Kilberg. I was a staff assistant to the president. Everybody focuses on foreign policy, opening the door to China and Watergate, and they totally ignore domestic policy. And if you take a look at the domestic policy achievements of Richard Nixon, he was one of the most progressive Republican presidents before or since him. He was very close to his football coach at uh, Whittier College named Coach Newman. He was a member of the La Jolla Band of the Lucino Mission Indians in California. And the president felt that Coach Newman had been discriminated against because he was Native American. And that if he hadn't been discriminated against, he would have been in the top 10. But that just was not possible in those days. And so it was very personal. And in many, many ways, and Coach Newman was a mentor for him. But beyond that was his very strong belief that everybody should have equal opportunity, but that nobody should be forced into one mold that fit all. You had to have choice, and you had to have opportunity, and that Native American people had not had that.